2010 MacBook Pro DVD drive replacement. Begin by shutting down and flipping over the MacBook. The back cover is attached with 10 Phillips head screws. Start with the 7 short screws first, starting at the top left and going around the contour of the MacBook. Next, the 3 long Phillips head screws. Remove the cover. Disconnect the battery before you begin. DVD drive removal. Disconnect the speaker and the Wi-Fi cables. Remove the two Phillips head screws securing the speaker. There is one on each side. Move the speaker to the side. You can now remove the three Phillips head screws that are securing the DVD drive. Remove the Wi-Fi cable bracket that's being held in with two Phillips head screws. One of the screws is attached to the Wi-Fi cable. Pull it out. Lift and remove the drive. DVD drive reinstallation. Place the drive in at an angle and drop it into its socket. Secure the drive with three Phillips head screws on the left side at the top and at the bottom. One Phillips head screw in the back. Reinstall the Wi-Fi cable bracket. It is held in with two Phillips head screws. Place the speaker back into position and secure it with two Phillips head screws one on each side. You can now connect the speaker. Reconnect the Wi-Fi cable. Reconnect the DVD drive and any other cable that came apart during this installation. Reconnect the battery. Place the cover back on and secure it with 10 Phillips head screws. 7 short screws starting at the top left and going around the contour of the MacBook. Now the 3 long Phillips head screws. It is a good idea to perform an NV reset after replacing the DVD drive. 